Yo guys, what is good? Welcome back to another video from SP Vids. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the import function on your SP. Now, I've usually used the wave converter software that comes with the SP, or you can download it from the Roland, soft, um, the Roland website. But this is actually uh, quite easy to do as well if you can't be bothered having to deal with software and all that kind of thing. This is a way you can kind of do it sort of vanilla with the SD card itself. So all you basically need to do, as you can see here down at the bottom, I've got my SP404SX memory card uh, plugged into my computer. So if you've got a Mac like me, you, you might need a, a dongle to be able to do that. Uh, the newer Macs don't have an SD card reader. I don't know about uh, PCs, but usually they do have an SD card reader built into the side of the machine. So yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out how to be able to uh, use your SD card with your computer. So. It's really straightforward to do. All you've got to do is first of all go into the Roland uh, folder, double click into that, and then you're going to be using this import folder here. So if you double click into that as well, it will be empty. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, get a kick. So I'm just going to get kick one here from this little collection that I've been building. And you can do multiple samples. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a snare. Let's just get snare one as well. and what I'll do is I'll do a hi-hat one as well. So let's go back here. Okay, so those three samples that I want on my machine are in the import folder on the SD card. So just to double check and show you that again, you just click into the SD card uh, with your finder or explorer window, double click Roland, double click import, and you put the samples in there that you want to import. So I'm just going to move over to the SP now and I'll show you how to get those onto the pads. Okay guys, so we're back on the SP now and I've got those files on the import folder and what I want to do is get those from the SD card and I want to get them onto the pads of the SP. We need to use the import function here, so it's button 3 and to get access to that we have to press and hold function, which is the small button here, and press 3 at the same time. As you can see it says INP, well they can't do M's with this display so that's import. And basically there's, there's multiple samples in that folder as we saw before but we want to import them all at the same time. This is It's going to import them all at the same time so what we want to do is select the pad 1 and then it will import them into 1, 2 and 3. So let's go ahead and choose pad 1 and then record is flashing so we're going to hit record again. And it's important them, and as you can see, the three lit up there because there's three samples in there. So now we should have the bass, uh, bass drum, or the kick, the snare, and the hi hat on these pads. And perfect, it's worked. Uh, they're not in the order that we want necessarily, so we can just use exchange to change those around if we need to. Uh, what have we got here? Let's change this and. There we go, so that's how you use the import on the SP. Now there's a few uh, warning messages that can come up on the screen if something's gone wrong. So for example now, if I try and import again, it's saying ENP, which actually means EMP, but they, again, they can't show the M's on there. So that means it's empty. So once you've done the import, it kind of takes them out of that folder and puts them into the SP and then they're gone after that, so you can't use it again. You can't do the import again, sorry, that's what I should say. And also as well, if something hasn't worked correctly on the SD card and you didn't get them in the right folder or something, it will just say empty straight away. So it won't recognize there's any files in there. You've also got to make sure they're WAV files as well so that the SP can recognize them. If the SP doesn't recognize the file type, you will get a warning message on here. You will get UNS, which basically means unsupported. So if that flashes up on your screen, you know that the files that you've tried to import are unsupported by the SP, so they won't work. So interestingly as well, it says that importing will take about half the amount of time of the total length of samples. So if you are thinking of doing full uh, samples, say like you want to work on a sample and you've imported it from your PC, you're going to have to expect that it's going to be about half the amount of time of the total length uh, to import those samples. Obviously those drum sounds were dead quick because they're only short little samples. And you can also have up to a maximum of 120 samples getting imported at the same time. So I assume it can go across all the banks and all the pads at the same time. That's what it says in the manual, so I've not tried that. Um, 
but yeah, I, I assume it, that's how it works. It'll just put them across all the pads and all different uh, banks. So that's pretty cool if you wanted to just completely fill your uh, SP with a load of samples and drum sounds, you'd be able to do it that way as well. And I think that's about everything I wanted to cover for this one, guys. So that's how you use the import uh, functionality of the SP. It's a bit uh, better than using the wave converter, I think, actually. It's a little bit quicker. I've used the wave converter up until now, but I decided to investigate this and see how it works. And it seems to work quite nicely. So yeah, give that a go. If you've got any questions or comments, as usual, just leave them below and I'll try and help you out. But hopefully this is quite a straightforward video showing you how to do it. And yeah, I'll be back with more content soon, guys. So if you could hit the subscribe and like, I'd really appreciate it. Also as well, just quickly before I go, uh, the drum sounds in there aren't in the packs that I've got on my website, but I do have some lo-fi packs available on my website. If you go to spvids.com, it'd be really cool if you could pick those up. It helps to support the channel and keep me doing what I'm doing. So that would be really appreciated. I will be coming out with more packs soon as well. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. I will see you again soon. So keep making beats and take it easy. Peace.